1-0 in the series. The red Terran player for the team LGIM is LGIM happy. To the top right. There's a shot of him getting a little bit of a haircut. So you can see those lovely eyebrows that you all have come to recognize. It looks like a Goomba with those eyebrows. His opponent to the bottom left. From the clan Zenith. He is Son. Cutting his hair as well, actually. He used to really rock that old school long hair. Uh, old school Korean pro gamer style, but we'll see what his plan is here. Probably going to play a lot safer. And I'm really disappointed, actually, that we did not get to see the late game out of him. And, and Happy says, I don't want to see it again. He's actually going to go for another proxy build here. Sending his SCV out very early here indicates only one thing. He's going to put his barracks in the middle of the map. Now, on this map, a lot of people like to place it, in fact, on the Watchtower itself. He may actually do that. But he's going to go just below the Watchtower, out of the line of sight. And this means that uh, it's actually going to be really easy for San to spot this. But even though he spotted it last time, it did not seem to be likely that he could hold. And Happy is just saying here, his barracks timing, by the way, is much better here on the second one. If he had started it on top of the Watchtower there, it would have been absolutely perfect, but... Either way, his timing a lot crisper on this map, a lot smaller map. No, San, can he defend this time? He may have to change up his defense strategy. Now, right now, all we have to do is wait. San is going to go across the map. We'll likely stop at the Watchtower. Even if he doesn't, he's going to see this. There's no way he doesn't see it. The only way he doesn't see it is if he doesn't scout, which he's not scouting right now. So he may actually have no idea this is coming. You're not going to expect a build like this two games in a row. And essentially what Happy is saying here, and if I were San Abdul as well, is just kind of insulting San a little bit, saying, you know what, I'm not even going to try against you. I'm just going to build two barracks no matter what, and I'm going to kill you. And San is just not scouting, he wants to get a small economic advantage out of that. You know, when you send that probe out, you lose just a little bit of mining. Every trip counts. At this point, the SCV is actually starting to take some damage from the probe. He wants to hide that second SCV, and so far, so good. Now the Marine has shown he's going to take out that probe right away. Probe needs to get out of there. The Zealot was not skipped by Son. So we're going to have a very similar situation to what we saw last time. Now he needs to actually target down that Marine. I'm surprised he's actually running back even. Should try to swipe at the SCVs as much as he can while chasing the Marine. He's just waiting here. He could be doing some DPS and running back. That Zealot has shields. Whereas the units of Happy cannot recover, of course he can repair his own SCVs. But now he finds himself in a slightly unfavorable position. The next two Marines are the most crucial part, and again, the SCV pull. If those two Marines get in here unhindered, he actually will be in the same position he was in last game. He needs to control that ramp. The Zealot has taken a lot of hits already. He takes out that crucial bunker. Back at home for San, he still has seven probes mining. And Happy actually not confident pushing up the ramp without those next two Marines. Marine count in total right now is up to, it looks, seven. Nice micro on the Stalker. The second Stalker pops out. This is a much better position than he was in last game. And he controls the ramp. It's so hard for Happy to actually break up here. Another SCV goes down. Great target here. Needs to pull back. I don't think this is the time to drill. With two Stalkers at the top of the ramp like that, you do not need to drill those Marines. Got to be careful about that. Use too many probes. Your economy is hurt, and Happy can actually fall back. Cancels the bunker, and that's it. San is now in a position with a third Stalker coming out. Even though Happy is not micro on that Marine was really nice, I just don't see Happy able to close the distance here anymore. There's too much DPS on the Stalkers. The fourth Stalker is being made here. As long as he doesn't mess up his micro, Happy is done here. We're going to see a third game. Really nice targeting here on the Stalkers. Sending him after those Marines, and even though the SCVs are trying to do their best, he'll get one Stalker, and that's all he's going to get. The rest of the SCVs now being targeted down. Probe's coming off just to be safe. Make sure that bunker doesn't finish, because that's it. GG. Take a pause here to drink my coffee uh, and reflect on that game. Cross map in Student Valley. No scout. Just a much better micro by San. Uh, I think overextending himself a little bit on that probe drill on the Marines on the ramp. That was something he did not need to do. But otherwise, really crisp control and getting those stalkers out using his chrono boost well. The extra economy he had from that non-scout, I think, may have even allowed him to get that third stalker out just a little bit faster. Once you have the third stalker out, you feel like uh, as long as there's no bunker, you're okay. And that's why he targeted that bunker down consistently well. Now I have the invite to lobby number three. And in fact, the map is going to be Whirlwind, a bit of a larger map. I don't think Happy can actually say... 3 for 3, I'm going to go for 11-11 proxy barracks. It's just not something that's reasonable on this map. 
if he goes for it, it's going to be the last thing Sonic expects for multiple reasons. It's the third time in a row he's done it, for one. And secondly, uh, I mean, the map size, it would be kind of ridiculous to, to go for that. Either way, the countdown is done. The map is loading. See you guys in the game.